Uh, hello, everybody. This is Ryan. Um, as you guys probably know, I'll make this video really quick. Um, just going to uh, make a quick video. Um, just uh, what really sucks about um, you know whatever movie companies that didn't have the balls to do anything with the Halloween series lately or anything like that. Um, you know, just uh, greedy and selfish and scared and stupid and dumb and retarded and, uh, you know, all of it. You know, then go suck it because I'm here to make a quick video of exactly what they should have done, what they should have done with the series um, a long time ago that I have not let out. Um, I think they should have continued Halloween Curse of Michael Myers story. Because that was a very interesting plot. They were going into a very good direction. I really liked the way they were going with the, the story. I, I was very drawn into it. Um, people are like, oh, well, you know, uh, it's it's never good to know, you know, too much about Michael Myers. And I'm like, I mean, what, you know, you're, you're going to just be bored watching a Halloween movie every single time. If they don't do anything with the character. If it's a movie every single time of him just, like, chasing after his family, you know, like, how, how is that interesting? How is that a good plot? And when they were going with the whole cult thing, I was really liking it. They were going into Michael Myers. They weren't exactly explaining everything about him. They're explaining what he's, what he's kind of involved, a bit, like, what's he, what he's a part of, you know, um... Yeah, they kind of explain why he became evil, but they didn't go too much into detail. I mean, you don't know exactly what's going on in Michael Myers' mind. Like, if you want to know that, go watch Rob Zombie's H2, and, you know, then you'll know, then you'll know everything about Michael Myers. But, uh, for A Curse of Michael Myers, he still was very suspenseful and, you know, whatever. So, um... Uh, I, today, exactly, um, it has been, uh, 17 years since a Halloween Curse of Michael Myers and Jamie, ah, excuse me, Stephen Lloyd is 17 years old now. He's, uh, my age. He was born October 30th, 1995. I know this is crazy because he's a fictional character, but, like, that would have been the perfect Halloween film this year if they would have done that because... You know, he'd be 17, and that would be perfect for that story and, and all that stuff. So they should have just continued on that Curse of Michael Myers story instead of jumping into this H2O commercial, you know, crap, playing it safe, you know, to get good reviews and everything, and then doing, uh, you know, Resurrection, and then remaking the whole franchise. Like, you know, I mean, they all... All, all, you know, all of them after Curse of Michael Myers, they serve their purpose, but, you know, I could survive without them if they continued after Curse of Michael Myers' plot, because they were going so great, you know, <clears throat> they were going in such a great direction, because in H2O, you know, they completely ignored 4, 5, and 6 completely, so, you know, that just messed up everything, so H2O, to me, is just a disgrace to the series, um... And so, you know, I really wanted to see them go and continue on with that Curse of Michael Myers story. Um, and I'm not filming on my laptop. As you can see, this is my computer. You know, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, I just really wish that they, you know, did something with Stephen Lloyd. I mean, because he was the baby, either in the producer's cut, he's, um, you know, he's, uh, uh, Michael's, he's Michael, Michael's son, and, uh, and Jamie's, uh, son, but I guess in the theatrical cut, it could have just been, like, a cult member that, that kind of raped Jamie, I don't, I don't know how that really went down, I mean, I really don't like that they, ugh, I don't like that, though. But that would be a good twist if Steven was, like, you know, 17 now, adopted, you know, new family, doesn't know anything about the past, because nobody really nobody really knew Steven Lloyd, 
you know, I mean, nobody, he, he really was like a nobody because he was, you know, he's only, what, one day old when this crazy stuff was going on, so easily, you know, Tommy Doyle and that woman probably gave the, the baby up for adoption and, you know, just made sure that he did not know exactly who he was, and then eventually as he gets older, he, he finds out a lot of research, this kind of stuff, you know, he's got new friends, and, you know, does it have to take, does it have to take place in Hanfield? No, it doesn't. It, it could take place in Chicago, you know, it could take place somewhere, uh, you know, bigger, um, and still bring that fall, you know, kind of style to it, um, and then, you know, there could have been, like, a moment where he was, he found out that, you know, his father's Michael Myers, and, you know, his mom is Jamie Lloyd, and, you know, that was, you know, Michael raped his, you know, uh, his niece, which is his mom, you know, his mom's dead, nobody knows what happened to Michael, Dr. Little Miss is, is, is dead, um, you know, all that stuff, you know, the cult is missing, nobody knows exactly where this is all going, and so Stephen is just, like, caught up in this, this dark state, and then, um, you know, then things go crazy, let's just say the cult comes in and abducts him, you know, and then there's a brand new introduction of how the cult is now, you know, 17 years after that happened. It's like a sacrifice because it's he's now the age of Lori was when Michael attacked, you know, um, uh, you know, his sister, uh, you know, uh, Halloween night, 1978. So, you know, that stuff could have could have worked so well and, you know, could have been, you know, directed so well and, you know, written so well and, you know. It would have just been a great continuation of Curse of Michael Myers if they would have done that. You know, I mean, I really wish they could have done that. And if they if they do that, cool. But, you know, I could be watching the movie in the theater or whatever right now. But I'm not. And that really sucks. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's too bad. You know, I mean, not a lot of Halloween fans are going to remember that this is Stephen Lloyd's, um, you know, birthday. Uh, 17th birthday. I mean, you know, there should be something special for him. Because God, who knows what character he could be now? You know, I mean, who knows how popular... If they would have continued on with his character, imagine how, how popular his character could be. How popular that how popular that actor could have been. Um, and so, you know, I mean, it, it's just those kind of things that, you know, that really uh, interest me. Because the movie Curse of Michael Myers came out a month after I was born. You know, it was the whole 90s thing. And, uh... And it was just, yeah, it was really, really cool um, when I found out that they re the movie was released in 95. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I really wish they continued that, that plot. I mean, they shouldn't have gone on with, with H2O. I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, the Dimension Films, the Weinsteins. I don't even want to call them Weinsteins anymore, uh, you know. You know, greedy, all they want is money, and they're, you know, they're just, you know, just want to eat, 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 and, you know, have all the cash, and this and that, and I ain't never going to them for any of my movies, I'll tell you that for sure. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, like, uh, I'm not trying to literally cyber bowl or like, you know, completely bash on them, or I'm not sending any, like, threats to them, I just don't think that they're, uh, I just don't think they're appropriate, and I, I think that they're very in a, irresponsible, and I just don't think they're a very healthy, um, uh, you know, like, um, company. Like, I just don't think their company is, is uh, you know, just, is not healthy. I mean, it, you know, I mean, they, they're, they were, they, they sued her, they were trying to sue Kim Williamson over some stupid thing, <clears throat> you know. They're greedy over everything. They're like, you know, oh, you know, yeah, we're remaking the series. You know, we're just going to do that. You know, oh, we're going to continue H2O with this explanation, you know, as long as we make a lot of money. And then they announce Halloween 3D. And then we say, oh, we're running out of money, so we have to shut down this production. And then, no, we're not going to come back to it, even though violence is such a bad thing because that theater shooting. We should stop violence, just stop in movies. And yet, you know, they got some violent movies coming out. You know, from them, you know, what the hell, you know, I mean, you know, if, if you're really that upset or angry about violence in, in cinema, why did you even start in the begin with? And second, you know, you know, stop making them, uh, you know, 
But no, oh, as long as you give money. Like, hypocritical bastards. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just not right. You know, they're not, you know, they're just self, you know, just, it's just, it's the bad parts of Hollywood. You know what I mean? I mean, they, they're, they're the bad parts of Hollywood, I tell you that. Uh, you know, companies like, um, IFC, um, what else, uh, you know, Paramount, uh, Lionsgate, um, you know, those companies, uh, Anchor Bay, they're connected to the Weinsteins now, ugh, but before that, I think Anchor Bay was very good, I mean, uh, you know, what else, um, I mean, that's a kind of I can think of, I mean, there's a lot of picture companies I, 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 I assume are, well, you know, some in entertainment, they're connected with Lionsgate, so it seems like, you know, those companies are very much more, like, open or realistic to certain things. I mean, look what Lionsgate did with Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D, um, Texas Chainsaw, you know, they're, they're basically not making it just, like, a simple cash grab. They took their time on a, I don't even know why they convert, they didn't just shoot it in 3D, but they're, they, they took the time to convert the movie. They gave a big tribute to the original after picking up, picking, picking this one up right where that last one left off, and really paying an homage and yet going a completely new direction. They're very smart, you know. They didn't just remake the the original again, you know. I mean, they did something really different and cool, something you know, really I, I have not seen before. And so, you know, Lionsgate has done all the Saw films, and they stopped, you know, before they probably were going to go downhill. Um, and, you know, Lionsgate knows what they're doing. I mean, you know, they were involved with Rob Zombie's House of Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects. You know, I mean, they, you know, they there's they seem very much a good horror company. Um, you know, they seem very open to that kind of things. So, you know, uh, you know, it, it just sucks. The Weinsteins have to own the rights to Scream, and they have to own the rights to, you know, like, uh, to Michael Myers. Like, it's just ridiculous. You know, two of, like, I don't know, the best slasher icons ever own to, the like, the worst company in history, I tell you that. Um, so, it, it, it's, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, you know, I just, yeah. You know, I mean, like I said, you know, uh, I really wish Halloween would just go back to Universal. You know what I mean? Universal should, should buy the rights to the Halloween series and connect it to, with Trinkus International and, and, uh, what's the other one? Compass, Compass International Pictures and, and have a good deal with the, with them and just do that, uh, you know, and, and just do a, how about, you know, they're all Halloween film, you know, like, you know, how about Halloween only exists, the original only exists, and then they go on with a completely different plot, which would basically mean Laurie Strode is still alive, Jamie Curtis and a lot of other characters, um, you know, if they did that way, if they did Halloween 3D, cool, you know, because Universal has all that money, and, you know, you know, they, they, that would, that would have been just great, that, that would have been great, come on, Universal, buy the rights, please, buy Michael Myers, um, and then Ghostface, this whole Ghostface thing, with MTV, you know, this whole MTV Ghostface thing, you know, I mean, like, where's the, the Weinsteins coming in and talking about this, and then I, I'm gonna make a, another video soon about, Scream 5, basically David Arquette wants Scream 5 to be made, because he says that it's not going to be made, which is pretty obvious because Wes Craven, Wes Craven probably won't come back if Ken Williamson is not writing a script to Scream 5, and, you know, the Weinsteins are so cruel, you know, that they basically sued him or they're trying to sue him, I, I'm pretty sure that he would not want to work for them ever again, and I don't, I don't blame him, um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, just, it's just, you know, such ridiculous, and then, you know, uh, David Arquette and Courtney Cox, they're, they're divorced now, and so, it's, you know, series not looking good, you know, and there's no sign, no news for it, and so, it's, it's like, they need, they need to get something out now, they need to do something about it now, they really need to, because, you know, a scream going on TV, I don't know if that would work, I mean, for a slasher, I just don't know. I mean, if it went, if it was a Showtime kind of thing, sure, fine, you know. But for average cable television, I think that's just ridiculous. 
and so they just need to make Scream 5. If that, if that involves having to go to another company, um, like Lionsgate, whatever, you know, whatever. I mean, they, Scream movies never had any flashbacks footage of the other ones, so there's no problem, you know, so it'll feel like another continuation. There's nothing to be worried about. So Lionsgate should just buy it, you know, just buy the rights to Ghostface and just take over, you know. Hell, Lionsgate should probably own buy Michael Myers too because Universal probably doesn't want anything to do with it because they probably had some right, rights problems back in 1988 with that whole Halloween 4 thing that was going on, you know, or 87. I don't know, I don't know. Watch Halloween 25 Years of Terror. Um, but, you know... I know this is this is just important to me to talk about this. Uh, just this is kind of my own like you know, my own thoughts. But I mean you know I'm, I'm just I'm just getting really sick of just no Ghostface news, no Michael Myers. I mean we need, uh, we need them again. You know I mean horror is dying, horror is dying, and us young filmmakers, film goers, whatever, we can't afford that. We want to get involved in horror films. We want to. We probably have thousands of ideas running through our, our our brains, our heads right now, you know. And we we and we want to explore them. We want to show the world what we can give, um, a, a slasher we could give. You know, I mean, there's so many. You know, there's so many ideas, you know, in my head. And so, you know, it's really just the start for me, and you know, really the start for everybody. Because John Carpenter, Wes Craven, Toby Hooper, um, all of them, they're getting old, you know, they're they are going to go. George Lucas, uh, Steven Spielberg, um, all of them, you know, they're, they're, they're going to, they're, they're old, you know, I mean, they're, eventually they're, they're going to be gone. And who's going to be taken over? You know, we can't have Michael Bay run everything, you know, Hollywood, we, we would just be failing if Michael Bay was just, you know. So, you know, we need to really get our foot in the doors, and that needs to be involved with showing, with companies or whatever, any showing that they truly want young filmmakers to express their ideas or show talent or whatever. I mean, I know we're not doing good with our money right now. I, I know our economy is, is not good. It hasn't been good in a very long time. And so, you know, I mean, I understand, you know, if... if, if um, Lots of motion picture companies are going through a lot of financial issues. Yeah, I get it. I understand. You know, I mean, we're we're all doing bad. We're all doing bad. So, um, but you know, if you, you know, just 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 make Michael Myers versus Jason, Freddy versus Michael. Just do those. You know what? What you, people, you guys, back in the thirties, forties, did Hong Kong versus King Kong, and you had. Dracula, Frankenstein, and all them like together in different movies, them fighting each other. Do that now, you know. Put those slashers together. That's what everybody's talking about. That's what everybody knows. That's what everybody wants to see. You'll make hundreds of millions of dollars if you do that. You know, I mean, I don't see how it's so hard to get a good director and a good writer to get a good Halloween film out. Uh, scream, whatever, you know, we need Michael Myers back, we need him back on the big screen, and not the original Halloween, we need a new Halloween film, we need Tyler Mayne, whatever, uh, uh, Dick Warlock, um, George Wilbur, um, uh, you know, Brad Laurie, whoever, you know, the, the play Michael Myers, we need one of them to really show that you know that they want to be involved again and we need a good Halloween film no matter where we're gonna go with the plot I want them I want them to continue Rob Zombie's story um, and just make it H3 and just end his story there and then go somewhere else with the series and I'm pretty sure they, they could go anywhere because I just would like to have a movie called Halloween the shape and just just have it as a direct sequel to the very original just the very original you know I mean like all the other sequels don't exist, exist, and this is the first sequel to it. I think that's what I would have. I, that's what I would do, after doing Halloween three. Uh, you know, I mean, that that's something I, I would do because I would not want to remake Halloween again. There's no need to. It's ridiculous. It's pointless. We've seen the story. It's been there. You know, this and that. So we're done. Um, like I said, Stephen Lloyd. You know, we, we I, I I wanted a Stephen Lloyd movie, and we can't have that. So. Because even now, if, if, if they went back to it, people would, we, 
people would get confused, a casual audience, they would be stuck. They'd be like, where in the hell are we? And so, it would have to be something called Halloween the Shape and kind of do it in a way where it's like the other ones exist. Um, you know, Michael Myers is there and it's kind of like a reboot yet, yet, yet kind of a sequel to, it's just Stephen Lloyd, like, you know, his new story, his new character, Michael Myers after him, after him. So it could be good for a casual audience, you know, they're just going into it and then fans from the past. I think they, they could easily just do that, you know, because if they call Halloween Michael Myers, you know, oh, big whoop. If it's Halloween, the shape. <clears throat> That's more original, that's more classic, and that's a title that's iconic because they've called Michael Myers the shape more than the boogeyman. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, that's that's basically it. You know, happy birthday, uh, Stephen Lloyd, and uh, yeah, if you if you exist. But, uh, well, you exist in, you know, the movie, and uh, uh, you exist in, I, you know, all the fans' hearts, so... You know, hopefully we'll be able to see your character, see you back on the big screen one day. Um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah. If not, you know, whatever, you know. If, so, we'll see where the series or whatever is going to go from here, but, you know, that's all I had to say, so. Alright, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, tomorrow's Halloween. So, we'll see how that goes. Alright, have a good night. Okay, bye.